it's gratitude journaling time 52 prompts and a year of gratitude and i am on number 21 draw something outside your window that you feel grateful for i like to call this my garden of eden tree because it looks kind of like the trees that they always paint in the garden of eden pictures just it's so interesting looking and i love it even in winter it has the most interesting branches it makes me wonder what you're seeing out your window too. There could be so many different scenes. Some may be beautiful, some may be more rugged or worn. I am curious to know what it might be. Everything is very green as you saw, so I'm going to be focusing on creating contrasting greens and also I will focus on the shape of the tree. It has this fantastic shape in real life that makes it appealing to look at and I'm going to do my best to keep the general look of it. I also am simplifying the background. I don't want complex colors and shapes to take away from my picture. So to keep that in check and make sure the subject of my painting is clear, I'm going to omit the path and the trees in the background and that will help it to focus in on the thing that's most important, which is my Garden of Eden tree. It really is the little things that make life great. All those little things to be grateful for are the things that help us to be happy overall. I've been thinking more and more about that and I think that there are more ways that I can be grateful. Not just for things that I can see that are there all the time, but also for little moments every day. So maybe I'll work on that for a while too. What ways have you been feeling blessed for the little moments that you've had each day? I'm sure there are many more than we even realize. This little bush in front adds a lot of interest to the picture, and so I decided to keep it in. I also love the colors in it. I love that it has like some of those warm brown red colors, and then it's like a deeper green. So it definitely adds to the overall composition of this picture. I also liked adding in this edge right here. It's supposed to represent the window and that we're looking through. I think it actually works pretty well. It gives you that feeling of just standing at a window. The texture of these leaves was so fun to do. I thought it would be tedious, but it wasn't at all. Doing this little individual texture was really fun. I added in this darker green, which helped the trunk of the tree to pop a lot more. Also, the leaves started to stand out a little bit more too, so that was an extra bonus. And then adding this darkness into the sky just helped the clouds to pop. A lot of the time, what you need is contrast to make a picture look even more finished. And I'm working on the edge of the window again, and it's it took me a little bit to get it right. I eventually do. Also, I love the smokiness of the sky, like that deep kind of cooler color that I have. It kind of adds a mood to this picture that I really like. And then here I just added on the finishing highlights and lowlights. The yellow really added to the popping of the tree. I did like a mix of brown and black for the low lights and I think it added so much to it, just giving it even more depth and making it feel even more real and there and solid. And the shadows on the ground really did add to it as well, giving it depth. And then I added in this little brown in the background because the green was just looking a little bit it didn't have the depth that I wanted, 
And I think a lot of times you can kind of see a little bit of brown when you look out at grass at times. So I think it really helped. And here's the finished picture. This tree is so beautiful and I love it so much. It delights me to look out at it. So I'm very grateful for it. The next prompt is, what is something you are grateful for in the sky? Draw it. Stay merry and creative.